on another stream a while ago, um, Matori kind of left the whole 8.3 part of BFA half done. Um, and got, and I thought actually she had not done the part before that. She hadn't done uh, uh, Rathian's journal. That I did on her. She hadn't done that part. But I thought that she would go back in and pick up from the next part. But she had done that part. <laughs> Some weirdness is going on at the end of the expansion where you can skip parts. And I definitely already done that on Arlea. So it might have been that it opened up for her automatically. Um, which is great. Uh when you want to speed through things, but it's terrible when you're going back years later and try to remember where the hell you picked up. So I wanted to move Matori through, uh, cause for reasons, Matori is I consider her to be my second main. So, you know, I don't like her leaving stuff behind. So she's kind of behind in a lot of stuff, like right behind our <laughs> But when we left off with her, she was going to go find someone who might play a role in the next expansion. Um, I remember being very annoyed by this quest <laughs> at the time, but we'll see. Um, Magni, Magni all of you, champion. I think I found who took control of the forge. We are in the halls of origination. By the way, there's some weird stuff glowing here. If you stand in it, nothing happens. I thought something. Oh no, it does. I don't know. I stood in one before, and it kind of stuck to me. It was weird. Anyway, never mind. Magni. I speak for Azeroth. Runes champion. No time to waste. We got a Titan Forge Terror boot. Sorry. It's going to be hard to not read it that way. A titanic problem. Back to work. You got here just in time, Matori. <laughs> this whole place is overrun. Complete Fight quest. for our world. Halls of Origination. Now, the Halls of Origination is a cataclysm dungeon. <laughs> Um, in Oldham. Her world must be healed. It looks like the halls of origination have been claimed by a group of Tolvir calling themselves the Amethet. I don't know how I don't know much about them other than they're new in town and not the friendliest of types. You need to get in there and reactivate the forge, or else Azeroth will be done for. Defeat the Amethyst forces and reactivate the forge in the halls of origination. So I forget this is kind of like a scenario dungeon of this. For Azeroth! I'll return to the chamber and start figuring out our next move. It is we a can't scenario. afford to lose the forge again. Do whatever it takes to protect it. But we're not going to skip it. I can't click on him again, so I can't even if I wanted to. Remember your duty to Azeroth. Yeah, okay. So I just go in, I guess. Torn always feel like they run so slow. Yeah. Intruders! You dare defile this place with the curse of flesh? Defile this place with your face? You stand before the Amethyst. Looks like we'll have to fight our way through. Let's get moving. What clued you in on that? Yeah, I don't think the teleporter works. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. I just remember these guys used to hit hard back in the day. They don't anymore. <laughs> Too different for the dungeon. I wasn't even trying to use that spell. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing.
I'm not sure which one this is that used it. Okay, wait. Heroic leap, hey Maggie. Oh, with a little bit of a lightning effect show off. I don't have to kill everything in here. Wait! See those statues? The Amethyst must have reactivated the forge's defenses. We'll have to turn them off before we can cross. The controls should be down below. It's like the dungeon, but not exactly. Though I do remember the boss fight. Because you do have to go down and kill things. Yeah, that's from the dungeon. the other side. Magni. Do better. I thought they were enemies. I was going to try to kill them. I think she has good... I think she does have Ramekin Rem. I'm not sure. No, she didn't get very far. This part. I was so late getting BFA started. That's all of them. Onward now. That, um... Those weeks before BFA launched. I was still grinding out my cloak. I was all cloak focus at that point. I was like, okay, let me just get let me let me just get the Nazoth kill so I can finish this up finish up the story. And I did like I could look it up, but which way did I go? I feel like someone's gonna meet me on that platform. The forge is ours, trespassers! Sure. So, in case you don't know what the Forge of Origination does, I could be wrong about this interpretation. Pretty sure it's the reset. It's the Azeroth reset button. The Watcher is not yet complete. I need more time. Our enemies are already upon us. Activate it. Arise life forms detected. Commencing purge. Rude. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Forge compromise. Oh, he's dead already. The Amethyst can make their own watchers. We'll have to worry about that later. Well, Come on, let's take the lift up to the control chamber. It's got an elevator. What the? Oh, the power's been shut off. Of Hang on, I'll get us access to the conduits. You this have to do this champion. in the dungeon, too. You have to activate the elevator to get to the final boss. You have to go through each area and then do stuff. And then things are gonna, I think this is the one when things pop out of the ground. They're going to pop out of the ground. This is a little too quiet. Okay. Oh, this Look, part. Some of the consoles here are still active. If we can figure out which one controls the lift, we can reroute power to it and get it working again.
Those bronze beards. Norganon Data Archive. Must be where all of the Forge's diagnostics are stored. Useless. Hmm. And Ghost Whip is one of the reasons why I'm just I have a shaman. Is the lift's console. If we reroute the power here, we can get her running. So I did want to, before I move on to the next phase, um, I always forget all of these are in the same expansion. Um, so, constructed by the Grey Titans, the halls of origination are filled with ancient relics and the fearsome guardians that protect them. Rumors around, the rumors abound that the complex also contains a devastating weapon capable of reordering all life on Azeroth. Deathwing has moved to obtain this terrifying device through his agent Alakir, the Windlord. Thus far, the facility's communication systems have been fully corrupted, but the weapon inside continues to elude Deathwind's grasp. So that's from Kata. But clearly, if Nizoth is attacking the same area and getting uh, these folks on their side, on, on his side, to get access to the Hall's origination, Deathwing was trying to get the Hall's origination for, you know, just off. <laughs> so, do the math. Um, it's a reset bot button on Azeroth. I get the entire reason why we're here. Give me a second. You're there to reactivate it. The weapon part of it hasn't been discovered yet. Just rumors of the weapon. The Oldham Raid, Algonon, is also... brings up resetting things. Oh, right. It's a puzzle. Yay. Alright, I'm gonna kill everything first. Oh, okay. I got this. I knew I was like, there's something to do with clicking on things and stuff. This must be where they're powering the defenses we encountered earlier. We can shut this one off. So shut that one off, so I'm going to assume that means take the power from here. Our world needs us, champion. Way. Forget which one we're supposed to power up. There's a, there's a big red button there. Our world. Back away slowly now. 
Best not to be messing with that. That's... That's... The reset button. Forget which one I'm supposed to. Was it this one or the other one? Okay, so we're directing it into the orbs. Great, I made a square. There's a black guy. No. Fair enough. I think you have to get it to the door. That's how it works, I think. I, or that was the dungeon. I don't know. Oh, great. I made a big rectangle. Magni, can you help me out here? Azeroth cries out in pain. All right. Ah! Why do they have to make this contraption so convoluted? We're not having any luck rerouting the power. Can you have a go from your end? Establishing remote interface. Stand by. Access granted. Rerouting power from defensive grid. Lift status operational. Flesh cursed. Your kind are unworthy of the Titan's gifts. I guess not figuring out is how you solve that problem. Or maybe you can solve it, but... You have tainted this place long and time and again! I grow tired of Such misplaced zeal. Their eyes remain closed to the true path. Not like you, my devoted chosen. Hey. Are you there? I thought we lost you for a second. If Nazoth's minions are inside the forge, then this is worse than we thought. We have to hurry. Come on. So, Maggie, we got a little bit of a problem. <laughs> oh, it's a faceless. So, where am I headed? Oh, we're going to the elevator now. Looks like the lift is working. The control chamber should be on the third floor. It's because I knew. Let's go. Let's go to the third floor. Hi, Magni. <laughs> hey. 
There's the boss rooms. I remember those rooms. Ah, I remember this part. Here we are. I'll contact the Chamber of Heart. Connection received. Please confirm elimination of hostile entities. Understood. Access power terminals to commence system reactivation. Well met! Back to work! Receiving signal. Error. Unable to access primary power conduits. Direct circuit to Chamber of Heart required. Interface Heart of Azeroth with main console. Do I have to put it on? It's in my bag. Dang. It should still be in my bag. I'm still walking around with it in my bag. I thought I was. Okay, good. I do still have it. I don't think I need to put it on now. Establish. Restoring power. Error. Forge operating at 37% efficiency. 37? That can't be enough to keep Azeroth protected. Affirmative. Additional power sources required. Initiating query for suitable alternatives. Stand by. It looks like your work isn't done, champion. Well, I could have told you that. Like, all right. Our world needs us, champion. Remember your duty to Azeroth. We're gonna have to wait a spell before Mother figures out what to do with the forge. In the meantime, we'll want to try to make sure nobody tries to do any more damage here. You should check in on the Tolver and Ramekin. I know you've... It's not a word. Helped them in the past. I did! I did! During the Cataclysm! Um, so they might be able to help us keep the forge out of the wrong hands. Mean Cat, King Pharos and Ramkin. I wonder if that's dialogue that's included. I'm guessing you had to have some rep with the Ramkin before you get that. It'd be weird otherwise. But I like those little touches. So I'm just gonna check on what her rep is, the Ramkin. Um, I ran her through Kata, so I'm almost certain. I mean, she's. I know why she didn't have that much to that. Um, she didn't get all the barrack bodyguards either. Let's see, look. Not Penguin. But as you can see, she got a lot of Pandaria. Um, Cataclysm. Hellscream's Reach. I don't even remember what that is. But yeah, um,. Ramekin. <laughs> That's what I was just saying, Jack. What am I in here for? What's Hellscream's Reach? I forgot what that was. Um, I think that's the, um... Tolbarad. The, uh... That's... The PvP. I could be wrong about that, but... But I think that's what it is. So I'm going back now. You can't give me a lift, Magni? Where am I going? To Ramkin. Okay. I mean, it might even be faster <laughs> to port and then port, but 
I don't think I don't think anyone responds from here. I think I could just run out. Can I go? Well met. You gonna stay there, Magni? I can't go out this way. Phooey. All right. Uh, we're running through the hallways. It's not that far. Hmm. At least we didn't have to go through all the dungeons. I mean, all the, the bosses or anything like that. Oh, look, there's still enemies. I'm kind of worried about them. I think they're level 50. I knew they were leveled up um, when you did BFA. From what they originally were in Kata, that I know. I don't know if they were the same because Kata was before the enemies leveling up with you thing. And see how far we get on this. I did want to get a little bit more on Carrot, um, who is right at the point of uh, an unwelcome advisor, but we'll see. We'll see where we're at in about 20 minutes, because there should be no time gate on this. So she should be able to, I think when you look here, adventure guide. No. No, what am I doing? It's the map. Battle for Azeroth. I always forget that this guide is here, but what sucks is this whole thing disappears when you're done. And I really wish if there was a library tab, this would be in there. So you really only get to this part. The old god Nazoth has broken free with the help of Dalatad. Darkness spreads across the land. That's where we're at now. Um... Too rad again. I forget. I have to look it up where it is in the plot and the story beats. But I do have dragon riding now in Ulda, which makes this a little easier. I'm also stupid worms, so I'm trying to, like, worms of the great beyond. I'm sure I'll see one. I don't see any right now. There's actually a major assault right now in Oldham, which, if I can get to the point of where I do have to farm some of this stuff, this just made it a lot easier. I don't have to go to Pandaria. I didn't see any of those great wor worms from beyond. Brigands, your kind are not welcome here. We come unarmed, and we only seek an audience with the king. It would seem you are not the only ones. Oh, me, don't mind me. Hail, adventurer. Farewell, traveler. Ramkahan stands with you. It's called Ramkahan. It's Ramkahan. <laughs> our power is in our people. All the origination of it, a small portion of the forge's true scope. Any threat to Eldum would be potential threat to the forge, and Eldum has found itself with many new enemies of late. We were about to convene the High Council when these Waste Wanders arrived. Unannounced, perhaps you could join us in learning about these threats. Learn about the threats facing Uldum and Ramkahan. We will protect Uldum. We know little. 
little of the Amethet, save that they believe themselves the sole defenders of the Titan's great works. In their eyes, all others are corrupted by the curse of flesh and are enemies of the Makers. It is imperative that they be kept away from the Forge. To the west, another threat looms. Terrible monstrosities have emerged from the sands and gather in great numbers. Though we suspect they hail from on Karage, they are unlike any Karaji or Silithid we have faced before. And worst of all, our priests are plagued by unrelenting nightmares. They see our cities burning to ash, and our people turning against each other. I fear that these visions are but the harbinger of something far more dire. We must prepare ourselves for disaster. How may Ram Gahan aid you? Oh, I will join you. There's older, more greater than I had imagined, although I loathe to throw out a, 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 a lot of the waste wanders. It seems you have no choice to band together against these threats. I'm afraid that also means I will need your help once more. Will you join us? Sure. It is clear that Ram Gahan cannot face these menaces alone. I propose an accord with those here today, that we band together and defend our home. You cannot be serious. I will not partner with grave robbers and bandits. You will obey your king. All who would fight for Uldum are allies of Ramkahan. The Waste Wanders stand with you, King Feoris. The League's got your back too. Very well. Together, we will vanquish all who threaten our home. Doom. Sounds a little like Evan Horn's, uh, uh, Vissian. Voice actor. I'll look that up for later, it's not a point. Do you bring news? We will protect Uldum. Explorer's League. So it's the Explorer's League. The Reliquary aren't here for the Hordes. That's just interesting. I'm just noting that. Our power is in our people. Though, to be honest, the Reliquary, I think, was helping with, uh... Um... As a right, not good sting threats. Um, the Tolvir take the protection of the Titans' constructs here in Oldham as a sacred duty. However, our numbers have dwindled and we face greater threats for each day. Even with the strength of our new allies, we will only be able to hold these enemies back for so long. Should any of them surge in power, they may still be able to overwhelm us and endanger the Forge. This is where your assistance is needed. Speak to High Commander Ramp. Pamsies. Kamsies. Mm -hmm. Based on ancient Egypt. Uh, to assess our current situation. Complete an assault in Oldham. So we're doing a assault in Oldham. Um, easy to do. Oh, woohoo! I get artifact power. Our power is in our people. Who am I speaking to? I'm speaking to High Commander Him. Make the sparkly it quick. one. Our scouts have eyes across the whole of Uldum, watching the movements of the enemy forces. If we can alert you of any upcoming search of activity from one of these enemies, I have no doubt you'll be able to quell them. Would you like to hear the latest scattering report? Show me the current assault. Back to your post. And here's where we begin the 
State your business. Nine lives. We have a war to wage. Aw, 325 coalition With each visions. passing day, there we go. new enemies descend upon Uldum. We must drive them from the sands. Strike them down wherever possible, but focus on key objectives and enemy champions to deal the most damage. Okay. Oppose Nazoth at every turn. You bring us hope. This shouldn't take too, too long. Um, I am way OP for all of this. And I'm not going to try, like, ultimately, I'm not going to try to do a whole... whole-ass grind. Because I do believe they're going to... Seizing the enemy's resources will bring their supply chain to a halt. Give them nothing to reinforce their armies. What I'm hoping is they will eliminate the need to max out the cloak or make or reduce the corruption rate I mean the problem is is that you know in the Zoth in the LFR version it's still up long enough Still takes so long to get down that you could easily lose the fight. Hasn't been nerfed. But I don't think they necessarily should remove the cloak mechanic. I think they just can simplify it. Like, if you have the cloak at all, it should be enough. Maybe do horrific visions in each once. But the superpowers you get are kind of cool. Like, I'm not one shotting these. And these are just, you know, well, okay. Those I'm one shotting. But the elites, I'm not one shotting them. What I do remember is don't stand in this stuff. Oh no, okay. That doesn't bother. This, in horrific visions, you can't stand in that stuff. So yeah, the horrific vision, the horrific, um, the salt salts are basically do a bunch of dallies. There's going to be a major assault. There's going to be a minor assault. If you look at your map, this I now have. Once you open up the assaults, you get the you get the little map with the the eyeball for BFA zones. Um, I haven't opened up Pandaria yet, so that usually you can switch between the two of them, and you can check if this is a major or a minor. This is major. You can tell us it has the cash of the Black Empire is your reward for clearing out the zone. So once you, when you're doing the dailies, as opposed to the quests part of the quest line, um, there is a final boss of sorts, very similar to Legion invasions and Legion. And it's this guy when you're in Oldham. He's not too bad. He does have this attack. You just have to kind of get between the the gaps. It's 
it's not too bad. And honestly, I'm high enough where I don't even have to be doing it. It is I like done. The, the enemy forces are routed and in retreat. Return to Ravgahan when you can. My hit trainer and Uber car. Right. This had better be good. Enough chatter. Destroy all who served us off. It's like, yeah, it seems a little worse than you thought. It looks pretty bad out there. Ramkahen welcomes you. All doom is in your debt. Have faith in the sun. All doom is in your debt. Salt like a You bring us hope. Ooh, yay. That's right. Have faith in the sun. And if I open up my little chest, catch the like empire. Now, oh, I got, I got, I got an appearance I didn't have. Um, more that I'm gonna sell, but. <laughs> More importantly, um, I got a nice good chunk of uh, coalescing visions. That will come in handy very soon. <laughs> you may speak. We will protect all doom. Third is beta for now. Our scouts will continue to monitor enemy movements. With any luck, we should be able to keep them at bay before they can make a move on the forge. Farewell, traveler. Thanks. Thanks for helping me out back there at the forge. Wait, who am I talking to? Who's talking to me? My... It sounds like it's Magni, but why is my head here? Anyway, um, forging onward. Th oh, maybe he's in my head? He's talking to me from the heart, uh, I guess. Thanks for helping me back there at the forge. It's vexing that Nazoth was able to infiltrate it so quickly, but at least we arrived in time to keep it from being completely wrecked. Now comes the task of getting her back. T sorry, getting her back to 100%. Mother has been working on a solution, and we think we've got a plan. Return to Magni Bronzebeard at the Chamber of the Heart and learn about the fate of the Forge of Origination. Champion! Mother may have found a way to restore the Forge of Origination. Meet us at the Chamber of Heart as soon as you can. Thank you. I figured that out. You're back. Let's hear what Mother has to say. Forge operating at reduced capacity. Recommendation. Reroute power from compatible Titan facilities. So the forge was not damaged beyond repair. How fortuitous. It is un- All of the other forges are working full time to protect Azeroth. Is there anywhere else we can get that power? Schematics indicate compatibility between Forge of Origination and Engine of Nalak Shah. That's it then. Looks like we're heading to Pandaria. I know it seems appropriate for Magni to be the one that keeps her at the end. <laughs> what he was saying, though, um, it's not um, it's not unlike Nazoth to it's unlike Nazoth to use brute force. Um, so now we're going to Pandaria. What a coincidence! So Magni, we'll turn in Magni's quest here. Rathian has a quest for me. We'll see what that is in a minute. Azeroth cries out in pain. For Azeroth! You say that, but... Her world must be healed. It's never Back to work! 
Motion vaults is still abandoned. We shouldn't have too much of a type reaching the engine. So they've already defeated the Mobile Guardians in that place. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be fine. No ghosts really gonna attack us. Well, what are we what are you waiting for? Let's get that engine turned on. Meet Magni Brownspeed outside Mogushan Vaults and Kumai Summit. I'll be there in a Remember your duty to Azeroth. I'll meet you at the entrance to the vaults, champion. Righto. Okay, there's a bissium. You stand before the Black Prince. Okay, I think this is when he starts asking for you to give him <sighs> corruption bits. <laughs> Every action has consequences. Corruption behaves in mysterious ways. It spreads beyond Azeroth herself, touching our most intimate thoughts and sometimes corrupting various relics. As you've seen firsthand. Though I cannot speak to the effects of these matters directly, I'm sure Mother has information surrounding these so-called items of corruption. Speak with Mother to learn about corrupted items. You will unlock the access to the following titanic purification. So this is where you start getting corrupted. Um, learn from the past. Look to the future. You start getting corrupted armor so that you can remove the corruption. Totally useless now, but it was way OP then. Uh, but to leave it corrupted. But you'd want the cape. It all goes all goes together. So now I gotta to speak to mother. Hey mother. Accessing greeting database. Hello. Uh, hello. I'm always tempted to see mother because it's in all caps to go, Mother! Um Warning. Anomalous elements detected in the immediate vicinity of champion unit. Titanic purification system standing by. Uh elements of corruption. Tell me about Titanic pur tell me about the Titanic purification process. Titanic purification. I'm gonna read it this way. Sorry. Titanic purification terminates elements of corruption from designated object. User input in required for process initiation. Do you wish to activate the Titanic purification system? Activate Titanic purification system. Farewell protocol activated. Do you require experimentation? Greetings. Chamber apart facility has been rehabilitated, now functioning within operational parameters, elements of corruption. Departure acknowledged. Titanic purification system online. Error. Exit routine not found. I have a corrupted item to cleanse. And this is, you know, you get your corrupted item. I can't purify it because I don't have any corrupted mementos. So I can't do that. Departure but acknowledged. That's what you would do. But you have to get corrupted memento. So now we're off to Pandaria. I did very much enjoy uh Careful hero! One of these Mogu is still kicking! Of course. I knew that. Honored speaker. I would right, have the words with you. You what? Well, that's peculiar. These stones have tales to tell. I was going to say, look at the Manted we hear. We must make haste. The Manted... <laughs> Foolish, Mogu. These vaults now belong to the Empress. Your allies will die with you. Like what Empress? A swarm killed us. What are we gonna do now? Find my clan. Just checking something. Um. Um, I got all the tillers. I did do a lot of Pandaria. I did not get Matt, Nat Pagel up to best friend. It's okay, he forgets by wad. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm still mad about that. 
So, yes, she did get the Klaxi. She got the Klaxi. Um, not that she... I just wanted to see if she was someone who earned, the, earned her title. Which is the Wakener. I think it's the very last one at the bottom. Yeah, the Wakener. So it's a whole rep that you get and you grind and you get good stuff for it. And then you find out they're servants of Yashiraj and they're like, you do realize we're going to turn on you. Um, if, you know, it means serving Yashiraj in some way. And it turns out the heart that uh, Garrosh gets his hands on and gets corrupted by. Um, is Yashiraj is, so you have to eventually fight, um, the Klaxi that you befriended and got Max Rep with them, they're like, sorry. Well, it's the thing is you go through this whole thing with them, this whole storyline with them, the whole rep thing. And when you finally get to Max Rep, one of them's like, you've now deserved to know the truth. And he take, basically takes you on a little walk and tells you, we serve the old gods. And if the old gods are ever in power again, we're going to serve them. And if you're not on our side, you will be our enemy. And we're just telling you that. Um, like, we'll help you now, but when the time comes, we are going to try to kill you, which was in Siege of Ogremark. Um, so yes, so that's the deal with the Klaxi. Similar to the other bug species, the Nerubians, who are going to have a big role, who had a big role in Wrath of Lich King, um, but are going to have a big role, uh, the not undead form in, uh, the war with it. I speak for Azeroth. For Azeroth! Fight for our world! The mysterious Sigil. Slaymo clutches a sigil in his hand, a symbol of the mysterious clan he belongs to. Perhaps you could track down his clan. They may know about know more about the Manton invasion of the Mogu. The lore work at show is well known as a font of Laura Pandaria. He may be able to track down the origins of the Mogu sigil. Bring the mysterious sigil to Laura work of show at the seat of knowledge and the veil of eternal blossoms. See, I knew it was going to be veil of eternal blossoms hmm. for some reason. If this clan is anything like him, maybe they'd be willing to help us. I don't know the first thing about Mogu clan sigils, but I bet Lore Walker Cho does. I'll meet you at the seat of knowledge. You know, you could give give me a lift sometime, Bran. Not Bran. See, I thought it called him Bran. Magni. Aren't you like... Can't you dig a hole? You're a diamond. I'm just saying. Ah, champion! Just as new dangers threatened Pandaria, her heroes make a triumphant return. This will surely be a tale to remember, but enough prattling. How can I help? I'm guessing since she earned the Legend of Pandaria title, um... I don't know, I'd have to bring someone else to this quest line to see if Warwick Ocho will mention that or not, but I'm guessing it's, um... It seems to be something that triggers if she has. Hmm. Eyes open. Always be learning. So Manton and Mogu teaming up is weird. Every good story needs a hero. Tread lightly. So Cho's gonna meet me go through books. Farewell. As you know, the Mogu clans were once again united by the resurrected Fanda King Le Shen. After his defeat, the Mogu splintered and began warring for dominance. Many new clans arose from the ashes. Perhaps this sigil belongs to one of them. Let's begin our search with my copy of The Serpent Masters.
With their command over Storm and Serpent, many consider the Zantian the dominant clan, though the others surely disagree. However, I see nothing pertaining to our mysterious sigil. Perhaps my copy of Power to Blood holds the answer. Masters of blood magic, the Dokani bolster their ranks with powerful war machines fueled by the life essence of those they conquer. This looks nothing like the sigil, though. See if you can find a copy of Will of Stone. Stubborn and prideful. The Baruch used the spirits of the dead to animate the statues littering their ruins and turn them into immortal soldiers. The sigil does not appear here either. Could it be we've not encountered these mogul before? Wait, there is one more tome we could search. Bring me a copy of The Origins of the Mogul. Originally, the Mogu served the Titans as builders and guardians. Those who answered to High Keeper Raden were known as the Rajani. Remarkable. This sigil matches that of the Rajani. Is it possible that this ancient clan has been resurrected? And what of Raden? Maudan is the secret extra boss in, um, uh, I think it's heroic or mythic, uh, Throne of Thunder. Greetings. After Leishan. Jade Serpent guide you. Eyes open. Always be learning. Jade Serpent guide you. Seek out the champions of the Mogu, they will do also. You know what I hate though, is I know exactly where the Rajani are. <laughs> because I've done this already. But fine. But I think I'll uh, stay with the Lord Walker and ask what he knows about the vaults. Good luck with the Mogu. Our world needs us, champion. Remember your duty to Athar. Will this thing drop already? All will crumble beneath our feet. Thank you. Okay, I see. That's how you. That's how you find it. You have to yell at the gate. I'm gonna clean out my bag soon. This is some. Um... How does today find you? Tread lightly. Farewell. Tread. You found the Rajani. Excellent. Let's just hope they'll put down their spears long enough to hear us out. These stones have tales to tell. Azeroth! Meet with the Rajani at the Silent Sanctuary. 
The report is seclusive and dangerous, so you best take caution when approaching them. All right. Her world must be healed. And you're just gonna hang out here with Cho, huh? Hello. Jade Serpent guide you. She's gonna Azeroth me. cries out in no pain. No time All right, I, I guess I'll do it. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about me. But without all purple outsider your kind are not welcome here is that how you address the speaker of azeroth the speaker what is the meaning of this magni you just going around throwing that around like i really not get this flight point Oh, well, it's, a, it's new, I guess. So, no, I wouldn't. I want one of these. I want one. I want one. All right. I don't know if you can get one. It's all those worms. You appear to walk with the speaker, so I will allow you words. Make them quick. The Rajani have little patience in meddlers. Show stones for yours. Pion the sigil. So sigil. How did you obtain this? He was slain by the mantid who told me to seek you out. And told me to see. His mission has failed. It was as we feared. It was not so placed to send you to us. But your arrival presents an opportunity that has, until now, been close to us. Walk with me, and I will explain. Walk with Storm Speaker Kyan. As you have seen, the Mantid have begun to swarm. I did not realize they had grown so bold as to invade Mogushan forts. This is far too early for another cycle to begin. The rise of their new Empress must have spurred them to action. Meanwhile, our scouts report that a massive Mogu army is assembling in the north, in numbers not seen since the days of Lei Shen. With the attention of the Golden Lotus divided, the Mogu clearly see an opportunity to conquer the veil and subjugate everyone within. Most troubling of all, though the veil has been cleansed of the Shah's corruption, a tangible sense of dread lingers in the air. The High Keeper speaks of a looming threat that we are powerless to stop. I cannot draw him out of his malaise. Perhaps you will fare better. There is no hope. The coming threat will consume us all. You only delay the inevitable. Try as I might, I cannot reach him. Oh, champion of Azeroth. I should have expected that you'd show up in the Vale soon enough. Why have you deserved my peaceful exile? I need the engine. I need the engine of Nalaksha. To safeguard Azeroth from the Zod's corruption. I have heard the whispers. I know what evil is upon us. I'm afraid the coming darkness is too great even for you to bear. They took the combined might of all the Keepers and the creations to imprison the old gods during the time of the Black Empire. The Pantheon gone and the Keepers scattered. What hope do you have to prevail? Time grows. You're just a ray of sunshine, aren't you? Yes. Devil's warriors. It's of no use. The great high keeper is convinced of our fate. It will take more than words to move him. 
It can't be coincidence that just when we need help with the Forge of Origination, we find the Keeper who installed it. You go on ahead. I'll try and talk some sense into him. You said special charm of yours, Magni. Proof of tenacity. The High Keeper is so convinced that we don't stand a chance against our enemies. Perhaps a show of force would sway him. I am not sure how you would manage, but if you could bring proof of victory against those who threaten the veil, it may convince him that action should be taken. Obtain a conqueror's trophy from the commander of the assault on the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Ooh, appearances I don't have. Alright. Ne nefarious tremendous bullets. Nefarious tremendous chess piece. The Champions. swarm is advancing over the serpent's spine. We must drive them back. So just like in Oldham, you get to a point and then the quests open up. So champions of the swarm, more coalescing visions. Thought there was more. I guess I'm here. Let me go over to Forge Master Hand. Some sell some crap that I've collected recently. Questionable meat. Uh, stolen rem rem kahan. Uh, trust me, I'm sure I know what it's I can safely delete this stuff. I'm holding on to that because I do want to uncorrupt it. Um, I need to hold on to that. I'm not saving that. I'll save I'll save some nah. The rest, the rest is dragonfly stuff. Let me move this down here. I need to. Next time I'm in the chamber. So, this is becomes the hub for um, the veil. And when the Nazoth, the uh, Nazoth attacks happen, they switch between each one. They alternate between each week. There's a minor assault in one. Which you see twice a week, and a major that you see once a week. And the twice a week is always in the same. But there's a quest inside, we have the and on sometimes the wall. outside. Um, Anji and uh, Toshi. Where's Toshi? Toshi. Where's Toshi? I'm painting the destroyer. Stay vigilant. Be strong. Move like the night. Hopefully, I'm not gonna have one of those weird ones that's gonna take. Oh, it's all the Claxi ones. Okay. Thankfully, the Claxi ones, the minor assault, which is usually the Claxi, ones, are not too difficult. They just take- they all take time. Shit. Okay, let's talk to Radha. We're gonna- he wants me to kill the rares. I can't. Today. I'll get back to that. Oh, I hate when that happens with the- Okay, Radha. You have my attention. Do what you can. The end approaches. Okay, good. Um, Master Champion of Azrael okay. Engine of Nalaksha. Do what you can. Your kind have proved me wrong in the past. I will give you a chance to do so again. The Titan structure which houses the engine of Nalaksha spans the entirety of Pandaria. There are more ways to reach it than just the Mogushan vaults. There are many such routes, but the closest would be through the Mogushin Palace. The chambers beneath the palace are interconnected with the vaults. 
Seek your fate there, champion. Follow the secret passage of the Mogushin Palace and activate the engine of Nalaksha. Time rose. So, all of the Titan facilities on Pandaria are connected? Fascinating. Well, no sense standing around while the world is ending. To Mogushan Palace! Anytime you want to give me a lift, Magni, it'd be greatly appreciated. It's a scenario, it's not. Right, Raden said that the secret passage is hidden beneath the palace. We need to find a way down there. Huh! Ah, the statues are coming to life! It's funny because the um Pandaria time walking just happened. So I was in here a few times as a dungeon mode. I mean, they keep you pretty, uh, teleporter. I think you could use a teleporter. At least not yet. Careful where you step. The Moku are known to leave traps for unwary intruders. And now you tell me? Actually, I'm not that foolish because... I do remember all the traps. By the way, if there's weird looking plates on the floor with things like arrows and stuff, it means something's gonna get pointy and poke you. So let's look here, and yes. Pointy, pointy, pointy. And you can see there's slits in the walls. know how one gets past that but it doesn't matter it didn't hurt. It didn't kill that me that switch must open the way oh, forward uh, just watch your step around those tiles of course this is where the first boss battle is i'm trying to see if the little green jade cats are here i think i did get that i did get that achievement but i forget there's like one achievement on throne of thunder i didn't get i'm not throne of thunder the um isle of thunder all right so Look at the tiles on the floor. We got fire, lightning, and I think those are the ones that are safe to walk on. I know fire and lightning aren't. I have to get in there. So. Yeah, that's what we got. Yup. And Nap just popped me out. Listen. Can I jump over? No, I have to go. Alright. 
Let's try this. Ah, that didn't work. Yeah, I didn't like you either. What is going on? Oh. We can jump over things! That's interesting. I don't remember this puzzle, actually. I don't care. I'll take damage. Of course, except when things throw you around. That was ineffective. You know what? Don't care. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to do it the hard way. I would have been dead already, but... A hidden staircase! Where? Is the hidden staircase- no, the hidden staircase isn't where, uh... Or is it? Is it exactly where the, uh... Oh no, the other side! Um... So when you come in, you do the fighty fight. Oh, this is where it is. Let's find that passage! Sorots, yay. hits in here in the wrong button. I was trying to see if... Maybe it is. It's the opposite. That's where the dungeon is. Let me look up that. Yeah, that leads to the dungeon area beneath. So this part you never get to go in that they reused it. I wonder how long they knew that was in the game. Oh. You can jump over it. Actually, this does look like the dungeon part. I don't know any without the traps. The dungeon doesn't have the traps, or it just looks like the reflection of that. Because I'm just saying, it wasn't a secret passage when I was in here the first time. Oh no! This I didn't see a way to open the door. There must be a switch somewhere. We best start searching. Done enough puzzles. Of course! You've got a sharp mind, hero! Uh, I've done enough... I mean, I've done this before, but... I mean... I did it! That, that, no, it's not even! That's so annoying! <laughs> it's really annoying! Can I go fix it? Oh. Maybe we should have brought a torch. Maybe. It's been a while since I've had to walk for this long. Wait, I think we're here. Now, let's find the engine. That's not a good sign now, is it? What in the name of Azeroth is going on in here? Intruders have breached the vaults. Need not of a deep one. Returns. I should have known.
on the mantid would throw their lot in with Nizoth. They're trying to corrupt the vaults. We cannot let that happen. Called a summon ma. We don't need any more of those. There's more eyeballs over here. if this is a secret area. <laughs> I guess the tunnel was secret because now we're in the vaults. Focus on the engine. Come on. I'm fine. Nothing to see here. I'm a harbinger. <laughs> oh, that's where. Okay. I just had to get to a certain amount. It's a place that- can I just jump off the side? Mogushin Vaults, I believe, was the raid? Vaults was the raid. Palace was the dungeon. I'm just remembering fights. <laughs> and of what nature they were, and that boss fight that's up on top there, that little terrace above the area we're in now. That was hell. It was not a fun fight. Oh look! They think they can fool me with not with broken plates. It might actually be broken. Looks like, because they wouldn't be jutting out half the way. I'm jumping over them anyway. Oh, I just walked over some plates. The Empress will have our heads if the ritual is interrupted. Stop them at all costs.
doesn't know. Is it Elgon? What's the, uh... The Pandaria boss that's in here? That has a map drop. I still haven't gotten? Not that it's, it's going to be available now, but this is the scenario version of it. More scenario versions of Raids, please. I mean, this isn't really that. Oh. That doesn't... Cannot oppose the D1. Exactly what I'm gonna do. This is a fun one. I remember this one. It's definitely a raid. Um. <laughs> The platform would disappear. It was a whole thing. It was a fun one when you got it down. But this is, yeah, there's a boss drop from here that looks, that, uh, mount that drops from a boss that looks, that it looks like. It's like a celestial. There we go. You can use that console to connect us to the Chamber of Heart. Remote link established. Awaiting circuit completion. Hold your horses, lass. This thing didn't exactly come with instructions. Ouch! That stung! Wait! It all makes sense now! Connecting the power circuit! What's this? Interesting! I'll remember that for later. Is up. Acknowledged. Rerouting power to Forge of Origination. We did it, hero! The Forge is drawing power from the engine of Nalat Shah. And I found something in the archives that could turn the tide against Nazoth. Come on, let's get back to the High Keeper. Just taking a look down there. <laughs> I did it again. Come on, there's gotta be an easier way. Where's the exit? Now we're going to go talk to uh, Emo Den. An intriguing discovery, Speaker. If the Mogu have learned how to focus the Forge's energies. Aye, it means we can use the Forge against Nazoth without reoriginating the entire world. I should observe this myself. For 
what reason do you address me? Hope is fleeting. Your persistence fills me with hope for this world. Let us return to your chamber of heart. As the caretaker of the Forge of Origination, I believe I can help your efforts to restore it. Speak to me when you are ready, and I will bring us there. Speak to Raden to return to the chamber of the heart. Do what you can. I speak for Azeroth. Time to waste, we get a Titan Forge to rebel. Fight for our world! Check in with our friends here. Yes. Alright, right on. I listen. Time grows short, long has it been since I last saw the Forge of Origination. Storm Speaker. I leave the Rajani in defense of the engine. As you command, Highkeeper. I will take us to the Chamber of Heart. This may prove disorienting. Such a magnificent facility. It looks to be of Arcadus's make. Odd that I was unaware of its existence. Knowledge of chamber restricted to signal level clearance. Proximity to World Soul requires additional safeguards. Aye, we only found this place because Azeroth herself showed us the way. Needs us, China. Speak thingy. for Azeroth. Back to yep. work. Fight for our world. Remember your duty to Azeroth. Because if I don't do it now, I'm going to have them sitting in my bags for like a year. <laughs> Azeroth cries out in pain. As if getting the forge back up and running wasn't good enough. I think we may have found the key to taking out Nazoth once and for all in the archives of the Mokushin vaults. You might want to be sitting down for this one, champion. Learn Magni's findings. Just a hunch, is it? Turn me into a nuclear bomb? <laughs> is that the plan? Oh, sorry. Into a focus lens. Is that it? Just a hunch? Back to work! For Azeroth! Mother, can you tell us how to focus the Forge's energies against Nazoth? Affirmative. Precision execution of origination protocol possible via remote triangulation. Successful deployment of calibrated targeting anchors requires proximity to source of contamination. In other words, we need to place these anchors close to Nazoth himself, which means braving the very... Anyone setting foot inside that accursed place would be driven to madness. 
There is always a way. The rest of you see to the forge. Leave the problem. Uh, I didn't know what you have up your sleeve, lad. But all right. Let's fire it up. Trappy keep getting cut off. She can barely get a word in. Tales to tell. <laughs> Our world must be healed. Dear Rathi, it's got cooking. Not to find I love that. For Azeroth! Her world must be healed. Power and everything up. Fight for our world! Run to beach side. Can I just say, hey, can you go get that over there? Reactivation sequence initiated. Awaiting user input. Rerouting power from engine of Nalak Shah to inactive systems. Experimentation? Error. Exit routine not found. Restoring Forge of Origination to full functionality. Warning. Unidentified anomaly detected. Anomaly? What do you mean? Met. Back to work. Remember your duty to Azeroth. Reorigination. The Thermican haven't reached. Well, to sound any alarms, then the anomaly must be contained within the halls of origination. We best get back to investigate. Which I remember going back now. Me, Magni, Brasvan, the halls of origination in Oldham. So back to halls of back origination. To work. This can he be good? I'll meet you back in Uldum. Champion, this anomaly. See if you can discern its origin. Sure thing. <laughs> sure how one's gonna do that, but... Hopefully this won't take too long. I say that... I know it's gonna take long. A lot of back and forth to this. Hmm. Nothing unusual out here. No, why would it be out here? We can go in again. These stones have tales to tell. Just doing one little check. Oh, we're so close. 
Um, Reorigination. We're two quests away from getting the cloak. Let's push on through. Remember your duty to Azeroth. Fight for our world. Whatever's happening has to be coming from deep within the inner chamber, of course. If we can get to the forge, maybe we can find some answers. Let's check your gear, forehead for name. Azeroth. I, I, that's me. That's on Our me. world needs us, champion. <laughs> Your forehead, and I'm sure who knows what's waiting for us in there. I'm Our almost certain I'm okay, gear wise. Let's, let's go, let's go, well make me. let's go investigate again. Look out! The ceiling's caving in! Yes, I can see that. Thank you. The entrance is blocked! Mother, get our champion out of here! Error. Unable to locate suitable destination for extraction. Well then, bring them to me! Hero, I'll meet you outside! Locking onto speaker unit. Teleportation initiated. That was too close for comfort. Let's go, champion. the sand that must be the anomaly mm. you mean the voidy swirly thing are you coming magni pick up the pace a little why don't you okay you're on your own magni Great, something's wrong. Come on. Clearly there's something wrong. Be careful, hero! It's purpley and get an eyeball. Purpley and eyeball means bad. Begun. Champion, you must resist Nazoth's influence. Do not give in to madness. I'm trying. I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot this part. Mother, can you bring them back to the chamber? Initiating evacuation protocol. Oh no, I need that. It's Azeroth. It's Azerite. Give me the Azerite. Give it. Was that Nazoth's doing? I've never seen anything like it. It was his vision of the future made manifest. And, well, I did say leave the problem of Nihilotha to me. I suppose now is as good a time as any. I do not know why his dialogue keeps skipping. <laughs> like, keeps getting. This time he cut himself off, at least. Magni with his short diamond legs. Yeah, it's not made for sprinting. Alright, so. This is right at the point. We meet again, champion. 
Don't do anything I wouldn't do. So now I was laughing the other day about that bit. <laughs> Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And exactly that, how much that left available that one could do. This is a good example of that. <laughs> what we're about to do. Mm. Afraid we're short on time. Continue this investigation. You'll need protection. And I know just the place. I sense a cloak in my future. So I'm going to complete this. Until next time. Beginning the descent. Protecting one's mind against the old gods requires an object of pure corruption. Unbeknownst to many, one such object exists dormant beneath the molten pits of Blackwing's descent. Until recently, one of my agents stood watch over the area keeping detailed records of suspicious activities. Unfortunately, this agent has gone silent and is now clear. We are not the only ones with this knowledge. We are to find answers. There is one place to look. Our, jour our journey continues, Patori. Black Rock awaits. Quest objectives retrieve the, retrieve the corrupt black dragon scale from black wing descent atop Black Rock Mountain. In burning steps, you will receive cloak <laughs> azure akamas shroud of resolve you'll also receive 70 gold and 20 silver so yeah this is as we're gonna... faces many threats i will rendezvous with my operative outside black rock mountain meet me there so we will pick up i will try to pick up tomorrow um Getting the object of pure corruption. <laughs> Blackwing's descent. <laughs>